In this lesson, we're going to continue on learning how to debug in Ruby. So we're going to start off by creating a program that has a slight bug in it. So let's go ahead and do that first. We're going to call this program debug2.rb. Now we're going to loop through the list of numbers looking for the minimum value. Notice that I assigned the first value 5 as the minimum value. So let's run this program. Now if you go back and look at the code, don't look at anything other than the values. Clearly there's something wrong. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Hopefully you've already seen it. But now if we wanted to debug this program, let's go ahead and close out the file. Here's one way to do it. First of all, of course, we're going to start with the debugger. So that takes us into the debugger. We learned in the last lesson how to list the file using L. Now something else we can do is step through the program line by line using the command N. So N takes us to the first line, then the second line, third line, fourth line. And then we get out of the program. Let's go back into it again. Let me clear the screen first. So something else we can do is we can display the value of a variable as we're working through the program. So let's step through it again. Now right here I'm curious what the value of min is. So I can type display abbreviated DISP min and it shows me that right now min is still equal to 5. So we'll run through it again. Now notice that I'm displaying on min, so now it sees that min is 8. Step through it again until we're out of the program. So now I can clearly see that somewhere the program is messed up. Of course, by now you should have already seen what the problem is. But using in and display to display a value, I can see the value of min each time through the program. One more thing we can do when we're debugging is called a breakpoint. So let me start the program again. Let's list the program. And I can set a breakpoint on line 6. So you can set a breakpoint on any line. I want to go one line past the value of min so I can see what the value of min is. So we'll hit enter. Now we'll step through the program. And at any time I can display min until it stops. Notice that we didn't really hit the breakpoint. So what I want to do is I want to display a variable and then hit the breakpoint after I've done that. So let's start the debugger again. This time I'm going to break on 5 and display min. So it runs until it hits the breakpoint and then it stops. And we can see each time through, when we see if i greater than min, then that means we're back at the top of the loop and looping back through our iteration. So clearly I can see after working through the program that at no time after we get to 8, does 8 ever get changed to one of these lesser values. So clearly something is wrong. And again, you've been staring at it this whole time. The problem is, of course, that we have a greater than sign instead of a less than sign. So if we go back into the program, change that greater than sign to a less than sign. Exit and save. Clear the screen. We'll run it without the debugger. This time the minimum value is going to be 1. So that's how we use the stepper in and the display command disp in a debugging session. We're going to move on to the third and last lesson for this chapter where we're going to look at one more option for working with the debugger on a different problem.